<laughs> what? Aren't you coming? I guess I'm a little creeped out. What, those stories? Those are just meant to scare the new kids each summer. Okay, well I guess they scare me a little too. Well, don't worry. I'll protect you. Come on. <laughs> Did you hear something? We're in the woods in Maine. Could be anything. No, well, maybe we should go back. We shouldn't miss evening activity anyways. All the other counselors are there. They're not even going to notice we're gone. <laughs> I feel like someone's watching us. You know what? I think I heard it too. Dylan? Dylan? Dylan! <laughs> <laughs> you were so gullible. It's almost kind of cute. God, I you. <laughs> you were so scared. I had to. I didn't know there were big fish in this lake. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Dylan. Look, I'm not falling for it again. Stop! Oh, Faith! Run! What are you all doing? Nothing. Reading. Uh, practice. Mm hmm Well, no girls in the cabin, so skedaddle. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired. Well, then maybe you should, like, take a nap or something. Yeah, like, get in bed and nap or something. Can't fight a scenario, right? Believe so. So you should probably rest up. Well, let's hope it goes better than last year because I had the last two. Yeah! <laughs> After the monster crept its way through the house and into the bathroom, it opens its mouth and chomp swallows them whole and no one has heard or seen from them since. Yeah, Good job, Lucy. That was spooky. Okay, well, we have 20 minutes before lights out, so we have time for one more. Who has a really spooky ghost story that they want to tell everyone? Anyone? Got one. 
Oh, Counselor Jeremy, come on over, Jeremy. It was 10 years ago, this very year, two counselors snuck off the lake, just going for a dip. A dip they never returned for. No one had seen them in days, until their bodies washed up on the shore. Some say they drowned. Others? Others say it was a lakeside killer. Then campers, other kids, started going missing. One by one by one. Some returned, others didn't. All at the cost of those two counselors. Call it a coincidence. Call it a ghost story. But he's out there. He's watching. And he's waiting. How do you know all of this? Because he was my counselor. Jamie, she wasn't in her cabin when we woke up. I figured she left early to feed us to breakfast. I haven't seen her. Isn't that the sweatshirt she wore last night? What exactly did you guys do last night? You don't think... Where are we even going anyway? I'm just saying, even if he did take Katie, where would we even find her? Well, we all snuck out last night. And we can't tell any of the other counselors, or else we're all in big trouble. So, it's up to us to find Jamie. I'm going back to campus. Come on. Jamie! Great. Now everyone knows where we are. Just split up. But don't go too far. Jamie! Yeah. 
Remember when I said we should have just left? Shut up, Adam. Claire. Claire, are you okay? He was looking right at me. What do we do now? We go back to camp. We act like everything is normal. Then we go back. We look for Jamie again tonight. You're right. We got her into this mess and now we have to get her out. And just disappear from camp for a night? What's tonight's activity anyway? I love having on the night. What'd you find? Some duct tape, a wiffle ball that goes with the bat Jeremy never lets me use, and some peanut butter crackers. Oh great, so if he comes at us again, we can hope he has a peanut allergy. Let's just get going. We don't have much time. Say we do find Jamie. Do we just grab her and run and call it a night? We should take her back to camp. And then we can tell the others. Uh-oh. Maybe he doesn't see us. He definitely sees us. Time to get in the theater, quick! Did he come in? Yeah, yeah, he's here. I don't remember seeing any of this in the camp brochure this year. I can't wait until our parents get us tomorrow. <sighs> no one's going to use this earlier. Uh. Hi. been looking all over for you. I'm all right, you guys. It's just the killer. He's not here. Look! I'm sick of this. Wait! He's surrendering. Jeremy? I told you I'd get you back for that prank the other day. But all this? Just wanted to give you one last scare before you left camp. And what have you been doing all this time? Fortnite. You got to play Fortnite? Now go on. I'm missing all the fun you're going to have on your last night of camp, all right? So it's been you this whole time? You really had us for a scare there. 
Sorry for you with that. Yeah, that's okay. I'm really proud of the bravery you showed for your friends. That's a camp on, I'll never be broken. I'll never forget the fun I had with you guys this summer. <laughs> Me too. If next year is going to be like this one, I guess I'm going to need to pack more underwear. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll write to each other, right? Always. So they still believe you? They're gonna have to, or else they wouldn't come back next year. We won't have a camp. How did you get Jamie back? Well, I still remember where my old counselor hid 10 years ago. When I saw him there, I made the deal. What deal? We'd stay off his side of the lake if he stayed off ours. Never give him what he wanted. Life or life.